All right, now we want to calculate the net present value and payback period of a project. So let's assume we have a minimum acceptable rate of return of 15% and there's going to be no salvage value at the end of this project. So the initial cost, $100,000, we're making $30,000 even each year. Um, so yeah, let's figure it out. Let's do the payback period first. So payback period. Now if you recall from the last video that we did, uh, payback period, so we're trying to make back this $100,000. So obviously it's going to come somewhere after the end of year three, but somewhere before the end of year four. So simply without doing it graphically, all we have to do is just say we have three plus 100,000, this is our cost, minus this, uh, this value here that corresponds to three, so we have minus 90,000. Uh, and this is going to be all over 120,000 minus 90,000. So we have 120,000 minus 90,000. And again, you could do this graphically if you want by doing that linear interpolation for this section between year three and four, but we can just read it right off this graph it'll, or this chart, it'll be a little quicker. So we have that times four minus three, All right? Year four minus year three. Now, again, this just reduces to one in this case. Okay, so we get payback period is equal to three plus, well, this term just reduces to 0 0.33 or a third. So we get our payback period for this project, payback period is equal to 3.33 years. So that's, uh, that's good. We know it'll take us three and a third years to get back this $100,000. But something that's maybe a little more important to us is uh, is this project actually worth accepting? So let's uh, let's now calculate the net present value. And again, notice that these are going to be the same each year, so we can make our simplification that you'll usually see on a engineering economics test, um, where we have a naught. This is our cost. Remember, this is a negative term. Plus, that we just use the future value or the present value of an annuity formula. Sorry. So we have a times one minus one plus i, where i is our minimum acceptable rate of return, power of negative n over i. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill this in. So we're going to have negative one hundred thousand dollars plus a. This is going to be our thirty thousand times one minus. Uh, we have. 15%, so this is 1.15 to the power of negative 7. We're assuming this project life yeah, has 7 years, and at the end we'll have no salvage value, so we're not going to add in any salvage value term into this equation. Um, and this is all over 0 0.15. And if you just go, um, we can do one more step actually, we'll say this is a negative 100,000. Um, calculating this last term on your calculator, uh, this will give you 124,000, 124,812 and 89 cents. Okay, so if we add these two together, we're going to get a positive value of, well, this is just going to be 24,000, uh, 812 dollars and 89 cents. This is our net present value. So this is good. Net present value is over zero. It's a positive value. So that means we're actually going to make more than our 15% rate of return. So there we go. We have our net present value for this project. Let's put a nice box around it. And we also have our payback period for this project. And show this to your boss. And if they, if they like it, then you should definitely accept this project.